The nominees for Outstanding Hard News Feature in a Newscast are... Crisis in Yemen, Nightline, ABC. How a gang hunted and killed a 15-year-old in the Bronx, The New York Times. I just simply did what he wanted, The New York Times. Yemen's spiraling hunger crisis is a man-made disaster. PBS NewsHour. The Killing Rooms of Mosul. Vice News Tonight, HBO. The winner is Yemen's spiraling hunger crisis is a man-made disaster. PBS NewsHour, PBS. Accepting the Emmy, Jane Ferguson, special correspondent. Every day, she says she sees these sorts of cases. People have lost work, therefore they've no money, therefore there's just no food in the house. You were never supposed to see these images of Maimona. A blockade of rebel-held northern Yemen stops reporters from getting here. Thank you so much. Um, it takes a huge amount of courage to report from Yemen, not least of all by the PBS NewsHour and their management. Um, a huge credit goes to Sarah Just, Morgan Till, Judy Woodruff. Uh, no matter what footage we put in, they never winced or asked us to change anything that could be offensive or, or profoundly disturbing. Uh, they are dedicated to covering the story in Yemen and uh, have dedicated more airtime, I think, than any other evening newscast to this story. But the most courageous members of the team are the Yemeni members of the team, quite a few of them inside Yemen that took massive risks to help me and who have asked, for understandable reasons, not to be named. Um, but we're very lucky to have Ahmed Bider here. Ahmed is also nominated for the excellent work done by ABC News in Yemen, and he's actually responsible for an enormous amount of uh, Yemeni coverage in the American uh, media. So thank you so much. And lastly, I'd just like to say that when you're covering wars, we always try to get to the one fundamental truth. And Yemen really encapsulates that, and that it is that simply regardless of military realities or strategies on the ground, every single human being has an inherent right to human dignity. Thank you very much. And I also, so, I also forgot to thank my husband, Matthew McGarry, who has been <laughs> listening to me for two years about hoping to get into Yemen. Thank you so much.